Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Secret Little Haven. Today we're going to be on day three, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. I think I've only done two days. So yeah, we're going to be on day three, which is pretty exciting. Let's, uh, it's been a hot minute since I played. So we're going to hop back in. Hopefully I remember what's going on. Let's get that bread, gamers. <gasps> this is neat. It's kind of loud. I feel like maybe we should turn it down. Hang on, I have to have an alt tab to be able to turn it down though, friends? Is the thing? Actually, what am I doing? Just turn it down in the game. What are you doing? Genius. Right. <clears throat> How's that? Maybe that's a little too quiet. Because it's a bop. We want to listen to the bop. Alright. Let's get going. Um, let's check our chats. Good night, Alex. Hey there, dork. What's up, nerd? Alright. Let's see what we got going on with our fanfic. We still have 1182. I'm thinking maybe we have to write the words. Can I? I can write! Oh no! That means I have to be the one in charge of the fanfic. Alright. What are we gonna write? I don't know anything about this freaking game. Not much, you dingle. Take great offense to this uncalled for dingle accusation, Sammy. You will be hearing from the dingle police. Very cute. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Over my dead dingle, you'll never take me alive. XD. Way to keep the, the... the conversation alive, Alex. I'm proud of you. Alright, um, so here's the thing. We're gonna... Are we gonna write it, like, for real? Or are we gonna do a meme? I don't really know what I would meme on. <clears throat> Yo, look, I can't do it for YouTube, but I was thinking we could turn this into a, like a sex fanfic, but that seems a little inappropriate, so. Especially considering I think Alex is a high schooler, so. I'm not, but the fake in-game person is, so maybe it's inappropriate. Anyway, I'm just applying for some scholarships right now. I asked for some from my school and wow, did I ever get a ton of them, but it'll be worth it in the end as long as I keep at it, right? What do you want to do if you get one? <clears throat> hey Laguna, what's up? Alex, hey, what's up? Need your advice on something real quick. Yo, hey, you there? Earth to Alex. Hey, uh, Laguna, um, actually... What are you- I'm um, actually, Alex. Okay, I wish this would stop scrolling up every time. Alright, we gotta start typing because... Alright. Um... After class... Class... I can't smell! Otaru pulls me aside. Pulls. I think it's Azumi, yeah. I can't just change the aside into an alcove in the hallway. What does she tell us to get to? 1500 words? I think. Alright. Can I ask you something first? Alright. Uh, who gosh, I would get the hell out of Alabama is what I would do. I would actually have a shot at getting somewhere else. Do you have any idea how huge of a relief that would be? But it'll never happen, uh huh. Haha. -ha. Alabama will be my grave. Haha, -ha, XD. Haha. -ha. Are you sure you're okay, Sammy? Hey. Huh? What's up, kid? Well, uh. We're gonna ask her about being trans. What? No, I'm totally fine. Nothing wrong at all. Let's talk about something fun, please. Like, um... Oh! I'm watching the new PGLF episode for this week while I do applications. Yo, you're filling out scholarship applications, watching an, an episode of a show, and talking to me at the same time? That's so much. It's nice to have something comforting playing in the background. Did you watch it yet? How am I supposed to do all of this at the same time? Azumi is finally lightening up. A bit in this one. I'm really happy about it. Um, 
These are very different answers. Let's say now I have it taped, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. What's up, purple squirrel girl? Okay, I'm ready for now. For realsies this time, I promise. Do you need a minute? Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm feeling good about it now. Let's look. Come on, spit it out if it's that important. Never mind, let's talk about your thing first. Alright. <clears throat> uh, what, else, what were we doing? Alright, we're gonna... Zoomies... Perpetually... Cold... Fingers... Lingering... On Hotaru's arm. Are we at 1200? We have 300 words to go, y'all. <laughs> um, where did this come from? Is me? Hotaru's voice is confused, but not disappointed. Okay. What do we got? What's up, Samuel? Sammy? Samuel Jamalam? You mind spoilers? It's just a filler episode anyway. Go for it. Even if I did mind, I'd love to hear you geek out about it. Aww. Very cute. Purple squirrel girl, what do you got? Yeah, I'm feeling good about it now. Yay! Yeah, throws confetti. Laguna, what do you got? Alright. A lot. Whoa, a lot. Is this how you start all your conversations, kid? Whatevs, I'm sure you'll be ready in a few eons. Anyway, I gotta make my monthly call to my old man again, but I don't wanna fucking talk to him. It's clear he doesn't want jack shit to do with me, so what's the point? Alex, should I just, like, bail on the call? Like, I get it. It's a shitty thing to do when I say it like that, and Auntie would be super pissed at me too, and I actually care about what she thinks, but honestly, fuck this guy. After the shit he's done, I stopped caring. I don't know, what do you think? Screw him. He doesn't even know how to listen to his kid. Actually, no. I kind of want to know what happened. Wait, what exactly did this guy do? I imagine it has something to do with her being trans. In fact, I'm like probably like 99% sure it has to do with her being trans, but... So, the RP is still taking place in the Galaxy ca Gate Castle, right? Oh, oh, we could have the story be about how our characters are preparing for what they are going to do when the universe nexus opens up. The main love force never gets time to think about that stuff. Okay, okay. I really like this idea, Alex. Can we please do this one, please? Oh, I want to do it too. Heck, this dumb earth. Let's RP instead. <laughs> What's up, Sam? My good golly. Aw, Alex. Anyway, then. So there's no demon in this episode, but that also means Izumi is in a nervous wreck. She finally gets to relax from all the demon attacks, and our girl is finally having fun. She doesn't have to worry about her hometown or demons. She can just chill for once. So she just goes swimming with the other guardians, and it's really sweet. I really like how Harto Hotaro's beach outfit looked, to be honest. Not in like a weird way or anything. I just think that gray swim skirt actually really works well for her. I'm considering sharing a clip I found online of that scene, so that the fan artist can have a good reference image for it. Would that even be allowed on PG fans? I know you can do it on GH, but I'm not sure about- Here. Good to see GH is a lawless wasteland as ever. Do you all live off the grid and trade bootleg tapes as currency? <laughs> Okay, hang on. We gotta write. We gotta write some for our, uh, for our fanfic, or else we're gonna like. All right. Um. Should we go cheesy with it or keep it chill? Yo, I just realized the lighting on my face is whack as hell. This is the latest I've ever recorded a video, I think, because it's like 9:45 in the evening. I just had time. Normally I have time during the day, but today it ended up being out like the evening, so we got some jank ass lighting though, so whatever, it's fine. I imagine most of y'all don't give a shit what I look like, so. <laughs> um I don't I don't wanna make this fanfic weird, y'all. You know, I just realized I don't actually have to like write the fanfic. I can just not. I can just type some words in here. Um 
Zumi doesn't say say yo anything for a long moment trying to collect 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 her thoughts let's see I have always admired you for your fire, Kotaru. Izumi blushes at, at her joke and then continues. But at some point, it became more than just admiration. I need to change this to a period. I'm getting into this, y'all. We're at 1255 words. All right, we got a lot of shit to read, though. Oh my gosh, hush your face, dork. But seriously, do you think you could check whether that'd be allowed? It should be in the terms of agreement they send when registering. Just let me know when you found it. All right, sure. That's probably in my... Um... Yeah. <clears throat> Just to mind the form rules, no posting copyrighted material, for example, and no hurting other members' feelings in order to get a reaction from them. I'm pretty sure that's all I needed. Okay, can I close this window, please? Okay, it says you can't post the clip, sorry. Wow, I'm not even halfway done with this stack of applications. Threw my ass out on the street after I told him something he didn't like. Uh, oh shit, what was it? Puts on sunglasses, yeah, let's do this. By the way, you want me to kick things off? Go ahead, I decay what I'm doing anyway. That's... Aw, oh, no fun. That's too bad I can't post it, but at least GH will enjoy it. They'll never take us alive over there. Anyway, what was I talking about a minute ago before the copyright thing? The episode? Alright, let's write some more before... By this point, Hotaru is a fiery... Has hang on. Has turned a fiery shade of red. And manages to mumble. I have always looked up to you. And admired you as well. I just never imagined that you could feel the same about me. What am I doing? I'm getting into this fanfic, yo. Alright, let's go back. Ah, oh, right, right. So anyway, besides all that, Hotaro still can't cook, and Mariko's cat is still probably actually Satan. Whoa, wait, don't drag the poor kitty into this. Takes the Satan kitty and pets it while running away. Oh my... Good golly! Purple Squirrel Girl! Oh my god! Alright, we're gonna wait until she finishes, because that's gonna be a lot. Doesn't matter, Alex. He's just a prick who doesn't care about his kid. But I still think I should keep this going, you know? God, this probably sounds like such pathetic bullshit, lol. IDK, what do you think you should do? Maybe he'll come around someday. Purple Squirrel Girl! Oh my goodness. What's up, Sammy? Oh my god, what if the cat was the actual demon ruler all along, XD? No, it is I who is the demon ruler, foolish child. Always the one you least expect. Alright, we got a mess going on over here. And we got 200 words left to go, so we gotta get going on this fanfic. This time, it was 
Izumi's turn to blush. Unfortunately, before they could say anything more, the harsh ringing of the school bell reminded them of where they were. Can we pick this up later? Will you walk home with me? Hotaru asks asks immediately. Okay. Nay, be gone, imposter. It is I who is the real demon ruler. I am confused who is the demon ruler for realsies. Please send help. Alright, Laguna, what do you got? I don't know. I still feel like an ass because he's still not responding to the calls, at least. If I do call him back, then it'll be for Auntie to make her feel better. Blog, I'll probably do it eventually. Hi, can you move, please? You're really impeding my ability to play this game. Come here. Oh, uh, speaking of dads, okay, well, if you don't want to be held, then fine, but that means you gotta go somewhere else. I gotta be quick tonight before my dad notices I'm online. Purple score girl, are you finally done? I think so. Good lord. Alright. Oof. Woof! Oh my god, okay. Okie dokie, clears throat. Guardian Acorn stared up into the night sky, shining brightly with the converging galaxy sea waves. Waves of auroric light crashing against each other as they intertwined. At their brightest point, trails of past voyages spiraled together into a radiant ball of helixes. Glimpses and flashes of worlds unknown sparked off its core, fizzling out in an instant. The universe nexus grew near. This is what the residents of the Galaxy Gate Castle have seen and said for millennia. The nexus, forever on the next horizon of the castle moving towards it. For each inch the castle took forward, the nexus seemed to retreat back in turn. Reverent legends of what lay beyond the nexus grew amongst the castle's guardians. Legends of the gift bestowed to the first of those to cross it into its infinite new worlds. Some say it granted omniscient wisdom. Some say eternal happiness was its reward. Still others say that the joy and discovery on the infinite frontier is re reward enough. Thus, now and forevermore, the universe nexus grows near grew near. But now, where there was only legend, there is now hope. A team of new guardians awoken on Earth have found something. Glowing old voids, shining in the same sublime turquoise light as the Nexus Core. Spawned from the bosom of a bested demon, the orbs were beamed back to the galaxy gate through the dimensional wand. And when placed in the long empty notches in the gate, the unbelievable happened. The universe Nexus grew near. Guardian Acorn wished each day for their safety. All the guardians did. Guardian Acorn- oh. Hey, you can't say the same thing twice. They were close now. The excitement in the castle was palpable. Guardian Acorn rose from her perch on the castle's upper awnings, jumping down delicately from a pillar to arch. Pillar to arch to pillar on her way down, landing like a flower petal on her last leap. In the distance, she noticed a familiar figure walking from the town to the castle, along with the usual pedestrians. Ah, Guardian Summon. Summon, you're out awfully late, aren't you? OMG, you sound so different when you're chatting for an RP. Like, you're normally super bubbly and chill, but what's with the serious stuff? I mean, it's not, like, bad or whatever, I was just surprised. Alright, Laguna. Oh shit, is he monitoring you now? Like, are you safe right now? I don't care if he's done anything yet. I'm fine as long as I hurry up tonight. Better safe than sorry. The three of us combined to form the super mega demon ruler. Not even Guardian Waffle can stop us now. You're still a nerd. <laughs> Alright. Let's write some more fanfic. I'll meet you at the gate after the last bell. Zumi responds just as timidly. Otaru turns to walk down the hallway and then hesitates. 
she seems to take a moment to consider and then quickly turns around and and this is Izumi on the cheek. Before Izumi can even react, she has turned away again and begun her trek down the hallway. Yo. 1397? We're getting there. Hush your face, dork. One sec. My mom needs me to do something. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, cool. Laguna. It's bullshit that you gotta deal with all that. Yeah, I guess. Dad's just really lonely. I should really try and spend more time with him, or else he'll just get worse. RPing is serious business, silly. Anywho, what brings the Great Guardian Summon out of her study quarters? I don't know, I just felt I should make myself leave the castle and do something tonight, lol, for once. Alex, you can't talk like that when you're a peeing, god. You're stronger than you think, Summon. It takes effort to push yourself like this. I'm proud. Pats you on the head. Would you care to take a walk through the courtyard? Sure, I'm good with whatever right now. Do you actually like spending time with the guy? No, but I don't really have a choice. He's my responsibility. And now he doesn't trust me anymore, I guess. Alright, what do we got? Let's put like some till beads in here. That's not till bead. Alright. And yeah, I can't type with you like this, child. Alright. Azumi can barely focus in her final classes. She can can only think about the crazy turn of events from earlier this afternoon. She had somehow managed to find the um, the courage to confess her feelings to Hotaru, and Hotaru had miraculously shared them with her. It was almost like a dream. The final class of the day seemed to drag on for hours. Izumi had a hard time determining, determining if that was a blessing or a curse. She was looking forward to walking home with Hotaru, but she couldn't shake shake the feeling that maybe it had all just been a dream. When all right, I think we have to stop at fifteen hundred. Oh, now I just have to put one word in here. Uh, she was here. Definitely. There we go. There we go. All right. Done. 1,500 words. In the bag. We did it. We can start writing our fun pick now. Oh shit, I hope that's saved. I can't imagine we did it. No! Are you 
you kidding me? Uh, what have I done? I'm trash, y'all. Alright, well... No, I still want to do it, though. That was so good. <sighs> you know what? I already wrote it once, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, like... How many words is this? Copy. No. Alright, we're just gonna type some words in there. I'm like typing way too much. Alright. Um, uh, Alright, you guys can't make fun of me though because I did actually type the whole thing and then I just fucked it really bad. So if you want to read my dank ass fanfic, just go back and read it. And don't give me a hard time, please. I tried. I'm just stupid, okay? Oops. Oh. This feels like it's taking more time. Alright, we gotta- Um, no, fuck that. If he's not gonna trust you, then you don't owe him. It's not that simple, okay? Okay. The two guardians walk through the magically manicured foliage and water features of the courtyard. The sound of wildlife in the distance providing a welcoming background to guarding the acorn. Guardian vessels pass far overhead in the galaxy seaways, their ambition shining brighter than the stars. And the two girls enjoyed the sights and sounds of the last quiet part of the castle. Guardian summoned, she paused. You received word that Earth Guardians have the location of the next gem. How does that make you feel? The Nexus is going to open soon, then. I know everyone is excited about the Nexus arriving, but... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, like, no one actually knows, but everyone still seems to have a plan. I'm the only one who doesn't, I think. Is that bad that I kind of don't want to get to the Nexus? Uh, whatever, Alex. I'm just saying. It'd be great if there was some way to make sure he wasn't watching you. But whatever. I'm sure you can handle things yourself. Just remember this stuff about using the terminal if things ever go south. And, um, about tech stuff. You, uh, know those commands that I gave you yesterday? Yeah, I forgot something important. But, like, they worked on my computer. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna wait for Purple Scoreguard to stop, and then we're just gonna type everything that she said into here. Can I even have them both open? Kind of. Are you done, Purple Squirrel Girl? You are! Sick! Alright. Let's just start here. Alright. The two guardians walked through the magically man manicured foliage and water features of the courtyard. The sound of wild life in the distance providing a welcoming background to guardian acorn. Should probably scroll more than that. Where are we at? Twelve thirty-eight. Right. Guardian. Oh God. Vessels passed far overhead in the galaxy. Sea seaways. Their ambition shining. Brighter than the stars, and the two girls enjoyed these sights and sounds of the last quiet part of the castle. Guardian summon. 
He paused. We've received word that the Earth Guardians have. This is probably like really good for a video. If I wasn't so freaking stupid and just deleted the whole thing like a ding dong idiot. Alright, let's see. We've lived centuries centuries here on this planet. It's our home. Few guardian guardians who are born here are given the privilege to leave but the nexus will change everything maybe for the first time ever And I understand how scary that prospect can be to some. It still feels wrong to me. All right, we're at 1339 now, that's pretty good. It's not gonna work everywhere. You need to specify a user, duh. Well, excuse me, but how was I supposed to know that? Let's do Zoomy walked quickly down the hallway to meet with Hotaru, trying to conceal her excitement. She was she made it to the main archway at the front entrance to the school and upon looking around was disappointed to not see Otaru waiting for her. Alright. The Earth Guardians don't have all these gems yet. You still have time. No one says you have to have all the answers right now. No matter what happens when the Nexus arrives, I can assure you this. You'll figure it out. Okay, I trust you, Acorn. And they hugged a bunch and stuff, and I felt a lot better. Very cute. Sam, come back. I miss you. Alright, we're almost done. It's freaking save. Alright. Before... Before she could let her disappointment read too clearly on her face, she caught a glimpse of Hotaru's Fiery red hair pushing through the crowd. She was scanning the courtyard. Courtyard. Likely trying to catch a glimpse of Izumi. A brief flash of disappointment was noticeable on her face, but was 
quickly replaced by a large grin when she noticed Izumi standing and waiting for her. I couldn't get away from the fanfic, y'all. All right, uh, Laguna. Okay. Wait, actually? Save, please. Thank you. Okay, whoa. No, 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 I meant like dub for me, not dub for you. But anyway, it'll only work that way on your account. If you try and access it from an account that's not yours, it won't work. But there's a way around that. So like, uh, instead of application slash love letter dot play, remove the uh, tilde and add your name so it's like this. Dot slash Alex slash applications love letter dot play. Or just replace Alex with whatever your username is. If you don't know what the users what users there are on your machine, then uh, just use this command is slash folder and I'll just replace the part with the actual folder path. <clears throat> so is alone would just show you what users there are. And you can dive in from there, you know? Excuse me. So use is to look around and then try and launch Generator, okay? Wanna give that a try, Hotshot? I'll give you a minute to catch up. All right, so let's try. Um, so just is. Hmm. Hang on. Let's figure out how this works. Minimize this too. All right. Use. So. If you don't know what users there are on your machine, then uh, just use this command, is. And I'll just replace that part with the actual folder path. So is alone would just show you what users there are. And you can dive in from there, you know? So use is to look around. Is that an I? Seems like an I. Like, what do I do? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's this? No. Hmm. So try, let's, first of all, let's try this. So, dot slash Alex slash applications slash love underscore letter dot play. Okay, what if we do dot slash on slash applications slash love letter dot play hmm but like didn't do anything weird Slash wait. What if we do John slash 
application slash gem underscore writer dot play. What if we do Alex slash applications slash gem underscore writer dot play. There we go. Okay, one more. More. Purple squirrel girl. Aw, oh, hoaxies. Are you doing okay though? I it got a little bit heavy there. Yeah, I'm okay. There's just some other stuff going on right now that's worrying me. Alright, let's close the terminal. We're gonna need it in a second, but I wanna finish writing. Before I get locked out. Let's see. Zoomies. Anxiety melted away at the smile from the taru. So it hadn't been all a dream after all. Kotaru seemed to have gathered more courage in their time away and instantly reached for Kazumi's hand. Kazumi was startled by the boldness from Hotaru, but gladly intertwined their fingers as they began the walk toward Hotaru's house. Oh! Alright, toward is it. Save. Close it for real this time. If I open it and it's uh, gone, I'm gonna lose my shit. So it better still be there. Alright, close this. Get this out of here. What? I saved it though. But I saved it. Alright, well I don't want to write it again. Okay, how's about we take a break then? I need to get some work done anyway, hehe. <laughs> so let's finish up later. Later, also for real now. Just one, I promise. Just type help for anything you don't get. Oh. Alright. Let's open the terminal and do all this mess. I'm so sad about my fanfic, y'all. I hope you really liked it because it's gone forever. Slap. Oh, okay. As in list. Not IS. So it's LS. LS. Slash John. Okay. List the file slash folders in the current directory. User directory app.play runs the specified application. SU password unlocks admin privileges and prints out passwords to a file. Okay. So let's do SU password. Okay, wait. So ls slash slash john How do you do su password? Hmm. 
Okay, so hang on. Because I want to figure this out. I want... Okay. What if it's... Slash... John... Password? What if it's slash John... Locked... Password... Hmm... Yeah, hopefully I never have to use this, though. Okay, hang on. Help. SU is specific user. So, John locked slash password. No, oh, it's not working. Okay, this I actually do want to figure out, so if you all won't hate me, I'm gonna look it up because I want to make sure that we don't miss anything by not being able to figure this out. So... Stuck on the terminal. Laguna just gave me instructions on what to type into the terminal on Friday the 14th in the game, but since it's split into multiple messages, I'm having trouble parsing what the game wants me to type to progress the story. Can anyone tell me exactly what to type in? Going to copy and paste an answer, I gave in another thread in case you still want help. First, it explains what the commands are a bit more concisely than Laguna does, thank you, so maybe you can try and figure it out yourself. After that, is some spoiler text giving more specific instructions. Okay. Um, okay, so there are three commands available. The first is ls, which lists out what is in a directory. Use this to explore the folders and find things you want to open. For example, first you might type alone, type just ls alone, see what accounts there are. Then you might check Alex's account to see what directories are in her account. This would list out some folders. Then you could check one of the folders with ls too, like ls slash alex slash folder, for example, the documents folder, to list all the documents. Okay. The last comment is the su command, where it is just typing su and then password once you know it. For example, if the password were hot dog, you would type su hot dog. Uh, we have to actually know the password first. At that point, you'll get a message in the terminal telling you what you unlocked. With that, you should be able to figure it out yourself. Use ls to explore the entirety of the computer and then open any files you want to see if you can figure out the password from them. I'll go into more specific instructions below in the spoiler tag. Okay, well, we won't look at that, but I do want to do... Okay, so ls slash john slash um, documents... Okay, hang on. Let's try John Locked. Let's see if that works. LS slash slash John Locked slash documents. Hmm. What if we did dot slash John? Well, first, hang on. Let me do ls again. Okay. ls. How did they type it out? ls slash Alex slash documents. Well, okay, let's try it as Alex and see if that even works. Okay, yes. That does work. Okay, so ls slash john 
locked slash doc documents. I'm pretty sure I've already done this. Hmm. Maybe we are gonna have to do the the spoilerino section. What if we just do ls slash john? Okay, what if we do ls slash john lock? What the heck? How come it's not working? Alright, All right, we're gonna have, maybe we're gonna have to do some spoiler Eno stuff. Because, like, I think the LS stuff is supposed to work on John's thing, but it's just not. LS slash John slash. Oh, whoops. Lock directory. Ensure this is available for the current user. Use SU password command to unlock. Okay. There's supposed to be a way. Ls slash John. That's documents. What if we did? So I kind I kind of saw this. John slash documents slash reminder dot txt. No. So to find the password, you have to go into John's folder. I don't remember the exact path, but you'll be able to find it if you keep using ls in his folders to go deeper. Eventually, you'll find reminder.txt that is a load he left to himself. Okay, but like, how do I even look at his folders is the thing. ls slash John. ls slash John slash applications. No, okay, so ls slash john slash john slash maybe the spaces actually matter. Hmm. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, by the way, how is your egg friend coming along? What? How did you do that so fast? Maybe you just need to get on my level. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's because we did that whole thing, like... Where we, uh, did the egg friend. What's this? Oh! Okay, 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 okay. It's there all along! Yay! I thought it was gone forever, but it's not. Yay, okay. Yay, okay. Well, I guess we don't really need all of these. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Uh, okay, you win this time, punk. Since you beat my score, I'll make something rad for you. Aw, T.Y., you're too sweet. Okay, um, so I don't really understand what we're supposed to do. It's probably not that super interesting to watch me just, like, look on my phone for, like, a long time, but I'm, like, so confused what to do. I don't know. Um, okay. Secret little haven terminal guide. The base... Before we can start, it's crucial to mention that these functions are case-sensitive. Forget to capitalize a certain letter of a file, and the functions will not work. Anyway, let's start with the basics. 
ls is a function. This function is glossed over during the terminal tutorial given by Laguna, but is the most crucial to solving the puzzle. ls, as in list, is so lowercase l, not capital I, thank you, is used to explore the files on the computer. This can be done to discover files on the other user john as well. It's always formatted like this, ls slash user slash directory. Some examples, ls slash alex slash applications, ls slash alex slash documents. Um, you can use this command to open up programs and files within the computer. Note that this is case sensitive, so make sure you type each file name 100% correctly since they can get quite long. The best format this function is best to format this function using the user's name, as Laguna will explain to you. Okay. SU password. This is the simplest function you'll get with this when you can access when you get access to a certain password. For example, the password was cats. The command would be SU cats. Okay, so maybe I just don't understand. Okay, so it says you should be able to look through John's stuff, but I can't. So ls oops ls slash John slash documents. They suggest this one? Yeah, see, it's locked. I don't understand. Maybe there's like a password we can already access? What if we do... Oops. Because he sent us a email. All right, so here's the deal. I've decided in order to make this simpler on myself, I'm going to look it up. So we're gonna spoil it for ourselves a little bit, but this seems insanely hard, so yeah. All right, here's the guide to finding the two passwords to regain access to Alex's computer. Oh, wait. We're gonna lose access to our computer. If you have the hang of the terminal at this point, I highly recommend you attempt to solve the puzzle by yourself. If not, continue forward. So then... Maybe the reason we can't do this yet is because... We're not at the part yet. Because if that's the case, then I won't look it up. I think we- okay, I'm just gonna give it some time. I think we're maybe not at the part yet, and then if I really screw it up, then we'll figure it out. Unlock code kaleidoscope found. Um, also, um, Laguna, I think I'm ready to ask you about the thing. Cool. What does this mean? Unlock code kaleidoscope? This mean? Is there like get anything? Any new documents? No. I don't see anything new. No. Interesting. Y'all probably can't see this, but I'm like moving the window around to see. Huh. I don't know. Weird. I don't know what kaleidoscope is, so... Maybe we'll need that for later? I guess I'll remember kaleidoscope? Oh, you know what? I just realized we haven't even gone through the brow the like forums recently. Um, also, wait. Go back here. Does this work? Nope. Go back. Does this work? Oh, I think we've already read that. Any news? No. Forms it is. Roleplay. What do we got? Um, this one we already read, but this is new. The demon realm returned to its isolated, chaotic state yet again. With the ruler in captivity within the seal, the galaxy was at peace. 
Guardian saw the ruins of the castle, the ruins of the Old Order, and began to pick up its pieces. The realms present in our universe was sealed off and became a shrine, blocked in obsidian and ornamented with marble. Empress Alicia visited the shrine upon its completion, turning to the crowd of her subjects before shouting, This shrine was built as a reminder that we can always be better than we once were, and just that just... That a just universe is always worth fighting for. May love and peace reach throughout the galaxy, my sisters. With that, her multiverse wand twirled in the air and touched the shrine's crest as it landed, illuminating the structure in a radiant pink shimmer. The Empress's blessing was always a sight to behold. Oh, nice. Alright, I want to see... I'm sure whatever you want to say it can't be that bad, right? So from real this time, what do you have for me? So, um, I saw your Art of Minori that you posted yesterday, and it turned out good, and it made me feel all happy and stuff. What does Jenny say? I apologize for becoming so unhinged last night, Alex. You must be- you must understand that I was just concerned for Laguna's well-being. I know you had some questions that you, you wish to have answered. Have you spoken with her about this? She just logged on and we're talking now. Alright. That one's done. Oh, this is the add a word one. I don't know when we finish this one. A hot dog demon, however, Guardian Waffles saves the day. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, let's go. Do we have any private messages? This new? No. Oh, fan works. Let's see. Is there anything new here? No. Is there anything new here? No. It's lying to me. Let's see... Nope. Uh... Goodness, even more information was leaked. Spoilers, obviously. It looks as if the plot of the film will revolve around the demon ruler coming down to Earth personally to try and destroy the love force from the inside, making them turn against each other. But Minori remains unaffected and it eventually helps Hikari and the others come to their senses and send the demon ruler back to hell. Gosh, that sounds so cool. I hope enough people go see the movie that Kid 5 actually sees how popular the show is actually over here. I doubt it. It was nice of them to bring the movie over here, but they've been giving more screen time to Card Warriors lately and taking it away from PGLF. Oh, ye of little faith, Orius. Let the film's performance speak for itself. And in the meantime, let's forget our dim outlooks and all this stuff. Enjoy the work of art that is PGLF. And then, will this forum be around forever? I know I haven't been on this forum for very long, but I really like it here, and the people seem really nice. But I just started thinking, like, will you always be here? Will this forum even always be here? What will we do if we all leave one day? Hey, come on, no need to sound so down about it. I certainly want to stay with all of you for as long as I can. Long live PG fans forever and always into the new millennium. I think we're fine as long as Cave 5 keeps airing PGLF. Beyond that, I don't know. You'll never get rid of me, dorks. I'll stink up this place forever. I freaking hate Smashy, dude. Somehow, against all odds, Smashy made an uplifting post. <laughs> you know what? They really did. What exactly is Galaxy Gate go doing right now? Okay, so we all know that Galaxy Gate castles where all the guardians from everywhere are based, right? Well, why the hell don't we see them more often if they're so important? The Love Force is fighting this hunger demon outbreak and the G GC hasn't done jack. What exactly is the Galaxy Gate doing right now? I don't know, what are you doing right now? Smashy, you're not helping. Uh, this one was sad. I remember this one being sad. Uh, I don't think I'm brave enough to just tell him he's a jerk. I've kind of been avoiding him for the past couple of days, so I don't know if he's told anyone else yet. God, I really hope not. Do you all think that I should try and talk things over with him? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that he's being a meanie. It's such a shame that you can't just let someone like a show without being a total jerk about it. Okay, so like the weirdest thing happened today. I was sitting next to Bobby in class and I was sure I saw him doodling a picture of the dimensional wand in his notebook. He even scrambled to cover it up when he saw me looking at it. Pfft. Oh my god, what if it turns out he's an even bigger fan than you are? Gosh, I'd almost feel bad for him if that were the case. How funny. Okay, good. Let me know if you're able to resolve this. I can't ever endanger any of the forum members like that again, especially ones with whom I am personal friends. I need to make sure everyone on the forum is cared for the best I can. Do you really think I'm that dangerous? Aw, hell, thanks. You're sweet. But that's not all, yeah? Because I'm open to flattery any of the day of the week. No special occasion required. But I bet there's something else eating up, eating at you about that drawing. Well, yeah, like the drawing. Alex, you're not being very specific. 
Um, I think that's it for those. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Uh, magic quest spoilers. Okay, people are complaining over PM, so I shouldn't talk about MQ7 spoilers in regular threads, so I guess I have to talk about it here instead. Whatever. Anyway, I just got to the Spire of the Agents. I haven't had much time to play it, okay? And oh my fuck, why did they have to kill off Junko? What the fuck? I just put all my best equipment on her and everything. Now I lost all of it. I can't even pick it up off her corpse or anything. Seriously, the most inter interesting character in the game dies and your biggest worry is that you lost your gear? Yeah, so Ellen is way cooler anyway, and she's the only one I care about in the story. What's it to you? Nothing, I'm just curious who you sold your soul to and how much they got for it. Wow. Sup, I made a game, nerds. I got really bored after finishing everything for my programming class in high school last semester, so I learned how to make a game in my spare time. It's the coolest thing you dorks have ever played, so download it yesterday. Let's get this game, yo. Nice work, Soul Crusher. There's definitely room for improvement here, but... It's still quite a good port of the original Keychain game. I suggest adding in different egg character possibilities at some point. Oh wait, this is the one we already have. This is the egg game. Alright, stop downloading it because I don't need that. OMG, this is so cute! Please tell me when you update this with more stuff. Are you gonna port it to Viewport OS anytime soon? I don't have a Sanctuary computer and I don't want one either. I think there's more in here too. Um, no, maybe not. It seems about the same. Alright, yo, I think that's it. Alright, so we can close this and just focus on this for now. You know, if you want to get better, you gotta practice. No use getting jealous when you could be getting better. Shoot, no, that's not what I meant. Ah, uh, words are hard. <laughs> no, no, it's not you. I have to be cautious is all. It's just, and I really keep doing this. I have a life too, and it's foolish to not give important things all of my focus. I just need to work harder, then things might be alright. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be venting. Are you sure you're feeling alright? Jenny? This is sad. Y'all, I'm so glad that my document is still here. You can see my shitty ass story. Kind of, you can only half see it because let's just talk about something nicer right now. That might help. Okay, if you say so. Come on, kid, out with it. What's eating you? Not jealous of your art, jealous of like, um, jealous of Minori. What are you doing tonight? Uh, chatting with my best friend Sammy. Even though Sam left me forever. It's like one second, like an hour ago. Although that's not really their fault. What are you saying, Alex? Like, he's gonna be able to change like that in the movie, right? Chatting, oh, they sound familiar. Do I know them from the forums? Yeah, Sammy's on PG fans, but mainly more on GH. I mean, that's the rumor going around, yeah. I'm just saying, um, I wish I could change like that. Oh man. This is... You're saying you want to be like Minori, huh? Like, wouldn't it be rad to be- to do that? Is that weird? I think that's weird. Yeah, probably weird, lol. Can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Lol, haha. Wow, I'm still typing about this. Take away my keyboard before I say something more dumb. Ah yes, Guardian's Haven. They've been getting quite popular lately. You say that like you're jealous, lol. Holy shit, just chill for a sec. I just want to be sure that you're saying what I think you're saying, okay? I'm excited. This is the moment, y'all. Now, you're saying that you liked what you saw and you wish that happened to you. Am I right? I mean, like, I guess? Jenny. Alex? There isn't anything wrong with you feeling like that. In fact, more people can relate to you than you think, kid. I still feel super weird about it, so that's why I wanted to ask you. And when I asked Jenny, she said you'd be able to help. I'm merely saying that I haven't figured out why they have so many more users is all. It's not like I'm scared of them or anything. Besides, other our users' fan art contributions are far cooler than theirs are, so there. Best fan art forever, no take backs. 
Uh, speaking of which, the Fanworks forum is functioning once again. Most of the threads are still down, but the board itself is up. But I know you generally stay out of that forum anyway. It's just because I want to work on my own fanfic. Let's see. We're over an hour. Although I did spend a lot of time in the middle there fucking googling how to use the stupid terminal and typing out my fanfic, so... Twice! Typing out my fanfic twice! The f that was my own fault. I'm not blaming the game for that. That was my own fault, but still. That's why we're over an hour now. <laughs> you mentioned- Ah, right, you mentioned that recently. How's it coming along? It's already the longest piece of literature in Western history. Most of the link is just moping and talking, but still, it's the best moping and talking. LOL, JK, it's Toad's Garbo. No! Alex? Excuse me? I wrote a fucking masterpiece, okay? A fucking masterpiece. You don't say that. Why would you want to? Like, I just wrote it because I really like Azumi and Hotaru, and I wanted to, them to get along better and maybe like each other a bit, kinda. Like, I just think they'd be cute together, and like, I spent lots of time thinking about it and wanted to write it out. Just please don't laugh at how bad it is. I think... What if we... I don't know how we share it. Calm down, Alex. I wasn't intending to do any such thing. Just like, it's kind of actually kind of personal, so please be nice about it. What? She actually fucking said that, huh? God damn it, Jenny. Can you keep your mouth shut for one fucking day? Just, like... Laguna. <laughs> How much do you know about me now? How much does she fucking blab? Who else knows? I don't know what to say. This is like some of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. Alright. I think it's going to be fu just fine, Alex. Still, if you need some time, I can wait. Just hit the share button in your program to send your fanfic to me when you're ready. Okay. I will. Share. I'm never gonna be ready, I'm really nervous. God damn it, Jenny, god fucking damn it, Jenny. I told you to be careful about telling folks that. No one knows who could be listening. Is she online? She's online. I'm gonna fucking lay into her right now. No, no, it's not. It's my fault, not hers. It's going to be just fine, Alex, I assure you. Okay, findingthewarmth.txt. Please don't hate it, I'm trying my best. Can you just shut up for one second? It's Jenny's fault, not yours, kid. Like, I just must have pressed her too hard on it or something. It's my fault, I promise. Please, I just need help. I really need help, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know what any of this stuff means, and I don't know how else to find out, and... This is sad. <laughs> Please just listen to me for one second. Please, Laguna. This is sad. <laughs> I'll give it a read by tomorrow. I'm sure it will be better than you fear. More than anything, I'm glad you wrote it all out. Uh, it's encouraging to see everyone's ideas come through the fan works on the forum. It'll be a real shame to lose that. You say that like the site's gonna be shut down or something. You're really that lost, huh, kid? Yeah, totally dumb about everything. I don't know shit about this. Please help. Oh shit, y'all. I just had like a an epiphany. Hold on. What if we do Alex Oh Alex slash documents slash co I don't know how to spell kaleidoscope. Alright, I'm gonna look that up. I don't think that's a spoiler. Just googling how to spell kaleidoscope. Co- Lie- E-I- Kaleidoscope? Okay, it's K-A- L-E-I- D- D- O- S- C- O- P? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I'd give it a try, but it didn't work, so. What if I just do? What if I just type kaleidoscope? Kaleidoscope. Oh, no. 
All right, well, I tried. I feel like there's probably a trick to it. Just chill for a sec, Alex. So, uh, I guess you weren't born a girl then, huh? Well, uh, I wanna, okay, I wanna scroll up until... Like, people try and say you're a guy, am I right? Are they wrong? All right, hang on. Where's the... Did I miss it? I think I went too far. No, oh, Laguna, please. You're making me nervous. Unlock code kaleidoscope found. I just don't know what that means. Well, Lil Alex, I guess that's what we're gonna find out now, hmm? Okay, but do you think you're a guy? There's a difference. Oh no, it's not like I'd want to close the site or anything. Okay, good, you had me really worried there for a sec. As long as you're here making sure the site's fine, we're good. I don't know what to do... ...for the, like, kaleidoscope thing. What is this? Oh. This is the... interesting. I don't know what that means. I mean, I feel like... this probably isn't it. I don't know... I don't know what to do with kaleidoscope. Hmm. Alex, what do you think of Cuddle Guardian? Your forum mod? Oh, you better fucking believe there is, kiddo. <laughs> what I'm just asking is just, uh, would you rather be a girl? Oh god, that'd be way too terrifying. What would everyone say? Do you feel like she's good- she does a good enough job keeping the forums in check? I'd be okay if I've ever- if I've seen her intervene too often when stuff comes up. I mean, like, no strings attached. Wave some fucking magic wand or whatever and poof, you're a girl now. And everyone's chill about it. Like Minori? Uh... <laughs> yeah, like Minori. If you could, would you want to get Minoried? God, yes, you have no idea. Hey, congrats, Alex. That means you're not a dude. <laughs> Wait, what? You're messing with me, right? Like, it's not that simple, right? It's more weird than anything, right? <laughs> this is pretty good. I see. I suppose she's not ready for more responsibility then. Well, I'm not trying to throw her on the bus or anything. Like, she al she's always good about doing news updates, and she's pretty active on the forums just as a user. I don't know what to do with Kaleidoscope. I really want to know what you're supposed to do with that. I feel lost. I tried. <laughs> Alex, if I keep telling you to chill, you gotta chill, okay? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to throw her under the bus or anything, like, she's always good about doing news updates and she's pretty active on the forums just as a user. Do you feel like she would be able to take on more responsibility if need be? What exactly do you mean? Alex? No. No, I'm just not trying hard enough. God, 
I'm still such an irresponsible child. I have schoolwork piling up, I may have to start a job to make rent, my roommate hates me, and I still try and keep up with this website. I can't keep doing this. I have to actually grow up at some point, right? Jenny, what are you saying? This is sad. Also, no, I wouldn't mess with you about shit like this. If it feels good to think about being a girl, well, that means something big's up. What did you do about it when it happened to you? Good question. Well, I don't know if happened is the best way to say it, but... No one ever really told me... Told me that I could just, you know, be a girl. I mean, at least not until I talked to some cool folks online who helped me figure that out. Yeah, like you. That's what you're doing right now. LOL, it kind of blew my mind and I jumped on that right away. But like I said, shit went down with Dad when I told him. He... things got really bad that night. But things changed. I eventually got to see a doctor, so I was just like... Yo, Doc, give me some of those lady pills. <laughs> I got super lucky that my doc let me do that right away, though. Not exactly a common thing for a doc to do right now. Yeah, it is 1999. Hell, I probably shouldn't even be talking about it. She could technically get fired for it if word got out to the wrong folks. Wow, so you really did it, huh? Alex, I think I need to leave PG fans. Oh no! My professors are right. I need to focus everything on schoolwork right now. Anything else is just a distraction from more important things. What? No, you can't. You can't be fucking serious. No way. Damn right. And it feels fucking great. And hey, if a shitty little gremlin gal like me can do it, anyone can. Gosh, you're really serious? This is an actual thing, isn't it? I mean, like... <laughs> it's not like it solved all my problems. It just sure as hell helped. This is just a lot to think about, okay? Look, maybe I just can't afford to do this anymore. Maybe I don't have the time. Maybe I need to take the time to ensure that I don't screw everything up in my own life. What the fuck? No, you can't just leave us all to rot like that. Why the fuck did you even start this if you didn't stick with it? Now I'm gonna lose the one place where I didn't feel like a freak. Rip. Okay, I'm gonna back off for a bit. Let me know if you got more questions, okay? Wait, um, Laguna? What are we gonna say? This is like... Real shit hours. I like this. I like this bit with Laguna. Was it worth it for you? Even after all the garbage with your parents? This is such a sad bit, yo. This is like bittersweet. This is like sad and happy at the same time. Oh, Sam's back! Alright. Okay, so you think this is all about you now? What on earth is the matter with you? Maybe consider what I need to do to avoid being a fucking failure sometimes. Sometime. I don't have everything together, Alex. I don't have all the answers. I'm sorry, Alex, but maybe I just need to rip this all away from me so that I can function normally. Maybe this is just for the best. No, get back here. Lock back on, damn it. We need to talk. Please. That's sad. Laguna said, hell yeah. And nothing else. Us your face, dork. One sec, my mom needs me to do something. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So, what else is going on for you tonight? I actually have something kind of big on my mind right now, Sammy. Alex, are you just gonna come out like that right away? Hmm, something up? Well, like, it's really complicated and stuff. So I was talking to someone from PG fans, and, like, we got into stuff I didn't expect, like, at all. And I just had to kind of stop and think for a while. Yo. You're just gonna come out right away? I'm proud of you. Okay, but you haven't even said what's bothering you yet. IDK, IDK, like, this is too much to process and IDK had to tell you. I don't want you to think I'm creepy or whatever. Ah! It's not creepy, Alex. What about it's creepy? Hmm, 
maybe take it slow, then that'll be easier on both of us. But is it really that serious? Okay, okay. I'll do that then. Um... Do you ever feel like something's, like, wrong about you? Okay, I feel like this day is probably wrapping up soon. Okay, also I've been playing for like an hour and a half. I want to look up the thing with Laguna and see if I need to do something today. Uh, scope. Oh, well, that's not helping. Secret. Little... Even Kaleidoscope. I just want to see... What? This is whack. Hang on, y'all. I'm like, okay. It says, so as some of you may remember, Laguna and Jenny give you codes during the game. They're used to extract two archives found in the game's folder. And then you'll need a program like Stuff It Expander to extract them. Upon extracting the archives, you'll get two files. Laguna's gives you a file called Sanctuary OS, which is completely blank. And Jenny's gives you SLH one last year, which is just a giant jumble of random characters repeated over and over. And then... Yeah, apparently you can only use it, like, on Max OS 9. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... just... give up on it for now. And what I'll do is I'll look up what it says, and maybe I'll, like, add that as, like, a video. I'll, like, I don't know, maybe, like, have... a walkthrough, watch, like, a walkthrough video, or watch, like, someone do it and then talk about it or something i don't know but i because i want to see what they say but at the same time like that's like a lot of work you have to do like a mac 9 os 9 like emulator to be able to open the files it's too much y'all i'm not doing that like what oh wait do you ever feel like something's like wrong about you like what oh uh, well i don't want to say a guy but Everybody's like... Okay. Interesting. Alex? But like, do you get what I mean? I'm not alone on this or anything, right? Alex, just... Please just tell me I'm not coming unglued or anything. I mean, you filled it too, right? Now's the moment. Is Sam also trans? So, what if I have? Is that normal for guys to feel? No. <laughs> is it, I think that's like the age-old thing, like, trans adage, is that, like, cis people don't think about whether or not they're cis. <laughs> so, just a heads up. So what if it isn't? Minori isn't fucking real, Alex. You can't keep wishing for that sort of thing. I was talking to my friend, and she said that we could do something about it. This is sad. 
Just do what I told you yesterday and stop thinking about this. Sam, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble, I promise. No. Just shut up and forget it, Alex. But I don't want to. Like, can't we just at least talk about this? This is sad. Damn it, Alex. I really just want to know what's going on in my head. Alex, just shut up. This is really sad, you guys. Today's been really sad. So what if I feel that way? It's not like I can do anything about it. Will you stop rubbing it in my goddamn face for one second? Well, Laguna said that it... I don't give a fuck what Laguna said. Sam. Depressed. You may be able to do something, Alex, but I'm still out of fucking luck, okay? I'm still stuck in Alabama with the parent with my parents for the rest of my life. Sammy, I don't even know what's going on in my own brain. I'm just trying to figure out what all this means. Please, I just wanted to talk and maybe make sense of this. I'm scared and I don't know what to do, so just calm down and listen, okay? Haha! -ha. Perfect. Just perfect. Look, the rich kid with a future is telling me not to worry, so it's all fine now. Like, you have any fucking right to tell me to calm down about this. As if you're the fucking victim here. You don't know the goddamn half of it, Alex. Oh no. I'm depressed. Sup, Al? I'm not in the fucking mood right now, Andy. Alex, you're just having a badass fucking day, huh? Just being mean to everybody. Just hold your horses a sec, I've been doing some thinking, and I get what you're really saying. Oh shit! We don't need those fuckers at school. Okay, well I thought this was gonna be at the, about the girl thing, but you know what? All they do is get in the way and disrespect me. Those fucking pricks don't know what's good for them. Holy shit, Andy, that's not what I said at all. You're honestly scaring me right now. Yeah, this guy's fucking crazy. Andy owns a gun. Am I? Yeah, you're being a fucking psycho. I can tell you don't really want to go to the game tomorrow night. How about a movie instead? A Hurricane Fury's playing at the Cineflix. No, Andy. We're gonna go see PGLF. If you change your mind, we could go to the shooting range after and let off some some steam after. But I know you ain't a fan, just thought I'd offer. Been really itching for a trip there. I don't want to fucking see American Fury. No, I'd really rather not. I don't want any... I don't want any of this, Andy. No, Alex, we're not gonna be rude. Look, Andy's kind of a piece of shit, okay? But we're not gonna be mean to him. You know I just want my friend to be happy, so cut this shit out. Now I get that we've got to tell everyone else to piss off and that we mean business first. It's just you and me now, Andy. It'll be cool, you just gotta show up at the movie, okay? We'll sneak in and see a manly flick and it'll be just like old times. Shut up, Andy. You go on and on about helping me, but I'm helping, trying to help you. This is sad, too. <sighs> help me! You're the one who can't start a conversation and save his life! I'm trying to help- I'm trying to help, fuckface! And you just keep shoving it back in my face! Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna let my best friend not learn how to be a man in this shitty world. Okay, well, see, Andy, now you're- You're being problematic, buddy. They'll chew you up and spit you out if you don't. But none of it's helping. You're seriously starting to creep me out, and I hate that. I don't want you to be a creep for the rest of your life. Just shut up and listen, damn it. If you're gonna keep doing this, then maybe we shouldn't be friends. Real men don't act like violent assholes, Andy. Maybe if you can't control yourself, then you're not a real man like you think you are. Damn, Alex. You tell him. Toxic max masculinity. Get the shit. Oh, shit, John. No, it's no, I wasn't ready. How fucking dare you, piece of shit. 
fuck you for coming into my life and making me care about you. Fuck you for calling me weak, asshole. I'm not weak, I'm a fucking man. Okay, Andy, listen. I'm way better man than you'll ever be. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, this is gonna keep going for a little bit. Oh no, I'm not ready to talk to my dad. Okay, Lord. What have you done? Alexander Jonathan Cole. What did I tell you just yesterday? What did I tell you clearly and plainly as possible, Alexander? Yeah, I know, Dad. I can't believe I let myself trust you enough to keep- even keep using the computer. I thought I could trust you. Why do you break that trust time and time again? Every time I spoke to you, I had hope that you could shape up every time you failed. I hate this man. This cannot continue, Alexander. Why do you keep hurting your father like this, Alexander? I saw you still had that chat program open when I was not speaking to you, Alexander. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Maybe you shouldn't spy on me, Dad. Yeah, bitch. Get fucked. Oh. No talking back to your father, you little ingrate. You've broken my trust and that was the last straw. Maybe I can't trust you, Dad. Damn, Alex is on one today. Well, that makes two of us. If you're going to act that way, I'm going to have to take serious measures. Minkus. The internet is a privilege. If you only abuse it, you cannot be trusted with it. Henceforth, you will not be allowed to access the internet or anything on your computer. Rip. I'm sorry that you could not fix your poor behavior, Alexander. Ripperoni pepperoni. Pepperoni, pepperoni. This is Minkus. I don't like this. Alright, well, we're gonna call the video here because this has already been almost two hours long, which is a lot. I, there was just a lot to do today. I spent, like, so much time writing my fanfic, so much time googling tutorials on how to figure out how to do something, and a lot less time actually, like, playing the game. So... What can you do? I hope you guys like the long form videos. I mean, I know some people have expressed that they like them being longer, but um, this one was maybe like dragged a little bit in the middle just because I spent so much time rewriting my fanfic and <laughs> uh, googling how to use the terminal. So, but we had so many big developments today. Alex decided she's trans, pretty much. Came out to Sam, kind of. Laguna walked her through all of that, kind of. You know, I say there was a lot of big developments and then really not, like, not that much happened. Nothing, like, super concrete happened. It was all just kind of like, oh, I totally forgot about Jenny. Jenny's sad. Um, yeah. I'm gonna look up, if I can, the, uh, others, like, the stuff for Laguna and Jenny, and then, um, hopefully I will be able to show it to you all. I don't know... Uh, if that will happen or not. So don't count on it, but hopefully I can find it and show it to everybody and or at least at the very least read through it and tell you all what happens in it. That's really the main thing. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it this far, I am fucking blown away. And thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, I mean, if you made it this far, you're probably my fiance because Let's be honest. Um, I highly doubt random strangers on the internet would just watch me talk for an hour and 39 minutes. But if you did, I appreciate you. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. This is one of them, they're all tab games, so one sec. Okay, bye.